Now this week, the La Crosse area Habitat for Humanity celebrated the completion of their 55th house. WXOW's Roger Stefferoni checked out the new Northside home at an open house event. There's no place like home, and that's why Habitat for Humanity keeps doing what they do. So we are opening up the home, welcoming in the neighborhood, just to show you know, what Habitat for Humanity and all of the volunteers have done. It takes a lot of work, a lot of volunteers, and a lot of faith. For house number 55, all of the above came through. So we were able to partner with 10 faith organizations in the community that helped raise funds, volunteer hours, and prayers to make this home a possibility for Libby Olson and her two sons. The Olson family will soon be moving into their new home, a beautiful and affordable home. There's kind of the misconception that affordable housing is not attractive housing, and that is just not the case. What is the case is an opportunity for a family to get involved and become part of something larger. We bring families into this process of constructing their homes and eventually purchasing their homes. These people are now a part of our community. Our Habitat homeowners are some of our biggest volunteers afterwards. They volunteer on the following houses. And the pride in their voices when they talk about, you know, I built that wall, I helped put the roof on, I put that window in. Um, it's such a unique experience to be a part of something like that when you volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. On La Crosse's north side, Roger Stafferoni, WXOW News 19. Now, despite the challenges of building and planning through the pandemic, over 200 volunteers worked on the home, putting in more than 2,600 hours. To find out more about the organization, you can go to their website at habitatlacrosse.org.